Joe Hage Online has more than 100 pages. Yeah, that's fine. Um, make a subdomain. Install WordPress to there. Hold on. How do I do that? Is that register a new domain? Nope. In your cPanel, under the domain section. Uh-huh. Button called subdomain. Under domain. Yep. Subdomains. Okay. So, call this sandbox. Sure. Document root. It does that for me. Create. Subdomains. Do it yourself. I'm going to go test. Okay. Create. Okay, it says that it's been created. Now, yep. how... You can just install WordPress like normal to it. So manage redirection remove. No, I don't want to do that. So what I want to do now is I want to take everything that is Joe Hage Online and I want to copy it completely into sandbox.joehageonline. How do I do that? And again, you're going to reinstall WordPress to the subdomain. So let's see. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this. This is, this is where you're getting into things that aren't really supported by us, but you can install WordPress from your cPanel. There's a little WordPress button yep. for the bottom. So I'm seeing that I clicked on that, and now it's presumably going to ask me what site I want to associate with it? I hope. Uh, yeah, it asks you where you want to install it to. Just use the drop down menu to select the subdomain. I'm not seeing a drop down. I see install WordPress. My WordPress Click install. Installs. Okay, install. A brand new one. Okay. Where would I like it installed? I would like it on Sandbox. And I've read legal information. And I don't need any advanced options, presumably? Um, that would let you put your own username and password. It's your choice. Oh, I need a, a new one that's separate from the way I get into Joe Hage Online? Yeah, completely separate. Okay. Automatically create a new database. Okay. Yep, so it'll be completely separate. Okay, I do not need to stay on this page for it to complete, but it is completing. Okay. Okay, I've done that. Now, do you know how to import everything from my other website? It's an option inside of WordPress. Export for tools, export, and then you log into the new one, and then under tools, import that file that got downloaded to your computer. Okay, tools. Uh, that. So I'm importing. You get out a range of what I can do for you. I do have a video tutorial I could send to you if you'd like, though. It talks about it. Okay, so f oh, first I go to Joe Hage Online and I hit export and I get a file and then I get import and I put it in? Yeah. And that should be it? Yeah, export from your old one, import to your new one. That's Great. As far as I know. 